This week we're at Walnut High School, and this is the world's most famous 21 stair. Ah, I can't even do it if I wanted to. Man, I was gonna fing melon this thing. It's easy to say that now. Oh man. That sucks. They got the skate stoppers back up here. And they re knobbed every rail. You got lots of run up. You got lots of roll away. This is nice and smooth right here. Who was the first person to skate it? First time I ever saw this in footage, Jeff Raleigh, board slide. That one was burning my brain. He started it off. That at the time was definitely the biggest board slide ever to be done, I believe. Didn't him and David Gonzalez try to ollie this thing? They did. Light has come. Ah! They battled that. Neither of them got it. David Gonzalez ripped his hair out while trying it, I'm pretty sure, too. Uh, it wasn't until Tony Willie actually was the one that ollied it. Dude, my heel hurts so bad. Hey, that was totally <laughs> worth it though, dude. Jaws ollied over one of the rails. It went over this one. <laughs> Yeah, so they're definitely way taller than normal. <laughs> yeah. These handrails are huge. That's why it looks so cool though. Yeah, definitely. It's almost like you want it that high for how big it is. Yeah, this thing is massive. It's a high drop off too. You're yeah. definitely taking some impact. It's insane some of the tricks that have been done down this. It almost drops off at my shoulder. I'm 5'9". Hey man, how's it going? Good, how are you? I've been good, man. Walnut 21, we went and checked the spot out. That spot's gnarly. The handrail, first of all, you ollied over it. And that handrail seems higher than a normal handrail, to me at least. Tell us the yes. story about that one. Was it planned out or were you just in the area one day and you decided to check it out? Uh, no, that was planned out. I can't remember who brought it up to me at first. We were just filming for um, a happy medium. I kind of needed a last trick somebody brought up that rail and they're like yeah you think you could ollie over that rail and i never went there before and yeah judging from the videos and stuff knowing that it was like taller than an average rail i was like yeah i mean i'm pretty sure i could ollie over it just go fast enough and it should work yeah i do remember on the first try like going over the rail kicking out and then land like just landing with my feet on the ground and being like holy crap this is this is, this hurts. This is gonna be a battle. <laughs> it was definitely a battle. <laughs> it was more of a battle than I, uh, than I thought it was gonna be, for sure. I mean, that was the ender of your part. It was the ender of the whole video. And I know you've done huge ollies, huge drops since then, but at the time, was that probably the biggest one you've done? Yeah, at the time, that was definitely one of the bigger ones. That probably was the biggest one that I've done. I was definitely into um, stair counting at that time. So knowing that that was a 21, um, I had done a 20, another 21 previously, which was in the, uh, ha my happy medium one part. Going to that one being like, okay, I know I've done a 21 before, but this one is bigger for sure. And um, yeah, I don't know, just ended up getting it. Yeah, during the battle of it, um, you can see on my hand, I have like a, a wrap around it because I split open my palm pretty bad. I got like one of those 
uh, whatever, where your part of your palm comes off. Yeah. <laughs> that sucked pretty bad. So we had to wrap up my hand and uh, yeah. You're getting ready for a fight. You want me, you want me to do it tight? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it tight. Do you remember like, or maybe ballpark estimate of how many tries that took? 10, 10 to 12 tries, I'd say. Do you remember if you skated anywhere else that day? Were you warmed up or did you just go go straight to the spot? <laughs> oh man, I'm pretty sure we just went straight to the spot. Back in my younger days, um, when I would just want to do a trick uh, and had a trick in mind, we'd just go straight there. Warm up was maybe I played a game of skate with one of the homies on the session and then just was ready to go. I was seriously contemplating that that was like my last one. Out of the other tricks that have gone down at the spot, do you have any favorites? Jeff Rally, one of my favorite skaters. Jeff Rally's board slide, always iconic. I always wanted to, after doing a huge rail, do a 360 flip on flat, just because after he, after he board slides it, it does that perfect three flip on flat. Oh man, that, that sticks out in my mind for sure. No one's ever done a grab trick down it. Dalton might melon it. Oh, I'd be stoked. There's the bubble pads. I would be stoked. I've done a 20, but not a 21. <laughs> Daniel Lutheran did 50-50. Yeah, he did that chilling. For most people, this is uh, their last trick. If you skate this, this is definitely a last trick spot. I mean, look at this spot, it's huge. Yeah. This doesn't need to be in the middle of your part. If you did a trick down this, you can just put it in the end and you're good to go. Yeah, you got your ender if you skate this. Two people lip slid it, Milton Martinez and Ryan Townley. Figgy smithed it, his last trick in stay gold. That was a good one. Then Chima Ferguson came, took his back down this thing, went for a gnarly front board. Yeah. Frickin' Chima, front board. He took a gnarly slam on it too. Yeah but then made it happen. Yeah, I think he said he broke his wrist on the first slam or something. Look at that 5-0 right there. Who did 5-0 this? <laughs> Dane Berman front 5-0'd it. Yeah, that, that's insane. I heard he came here that day and he wasn't feeling it. And then on the way home, he's like, F it, turn around and came and did it. Cause uh, I think Cold War was about to premiere. And nice. they were on deadline. He really wanted to get that one and he made it happen. Has it been backlipped? Nigel backlipped it. Dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course he backlipped it. Of course he backlipped it. Fade to black, Nigel Houston, backlip. Probably my favorite trick. I always wanted to back lift a 20 plus stair. Heavy. Yeah, this is a gnarly 20 plus stair to back lift. There's way better 20 plus stairs to back lift than this one. Gabbers nose grinded it. First try. And he got 300 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave him 300 bucks? Uh, everyone that was there on the session. Uh, Evan Smith was there, he threw in. Uh, I forget who else. He was uh, rolling up and they're all like, come on, you got him. Okay. with me so bad. Dude, Gavis, you can do it. Dude, you know you can nose At least try it. And everyone just kept throwing the money at him to do it and then he did it first try. 
<laughs> and that that's why on the roll away he's like <laughs> can't believe he did it. I still can't believe it. Victor Activist, this probably might be the one of the gnarliest tricks, kind of comparable to back over the nose kind of, but he backsmithed this thing. It's ridiculous. And took that to the floor. The dude that backsmithed it, that is crazy. Another gnarly one, Jamie Foy did from Feeble. Oh yeah. That's Equally insane. Is there any trick that you're surprised hasn't gone down yet down the set? Or is there maybe something you'd like to see go down? Um, all right, so obviously I wanna see somebody kick flip it. That would be uh, amazing. And I think that that would be the record for the biggest stair count wise kick flip. Otherwise yeah. it's just Dave Bajinski as El Toro, 20. So somebody's gotta kick flip a 20 once there. And then, I don't know, you know what? Back nose blunt. That's what I want to see, I doubt it. A back nose blunt. That would be amazing. We didn't say this earlier when we were talking about the Ollie, but Tony Willie, he also tried kickflip. He did not get the make though, unfortunately. This thing has to hurt so bad to just jump straight down. Dude. I found a video on YouTube of some dude trying to ollie this, like I have no idea who it is, and he kicks out and it looks like he gets the worst double heel bruise. It looks rough. Yeah, you're like guaranteed heel bruise if you jump down this. Probably the most out of the box trick done down this thing. Firecracker by Matters. <laughs> Doing that down a 21 stair is pretty insane. Yeah, he did it down El Toro, but that wasn't enough. He wanted to one-up himself with one more stair. Yeah, anyone that's done a trick down El Toro, this is the next one to do. <laughs> yeah. You've skated El Toro a few times. Did you do this before any of the El Toro tricks? Uh, no, this is after some El Toro tricks. Stalefish was the first trick I did down El Toro. I think I maybe tuck knee to El Toro too before this. And then I did this, and then after I kicked with Melon Del Toro. But you'd say this is a bigger drop than El Toro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yes. it's definitely bigger. El Toro, El Toro is not like the biggest drop. It's ne it's more longer than it is taller. It's like you gotta go fast for El Toro. For this, you ha obviously have to go fast, but this has the height that you can, with the you know forward momentum, you're gonna clear it anyways. So definitely the craziest trick to go down the stairs, back 180, Milton Martinez. Milton, Milton Martinez back 180 did. Yeah. Now, I can't remember if he did that before or after um, I ollied it. Oh man, I don't know. I can't remember, but either way, Milton back 180 did. And that was, I thought that that is the sickest thing to go down on for sure. Just yeah. because no, jumping down it myself, hucking a back 180 down that thing, like dude. And I feel like people forgot about that. Like that is like the gnarliest back 180 to ever go down, I think. Yeah. Um, for sure. How do you come here and just decide you want to back 180 this? Yeah, that's nuts. Insane. He wanted it. He's like, I want this. Oh. All right, now you 
you guys can't say we didn't skate it. All right, Ken, what would it take to make this rail skatable today? Some people have this special tool where they can take these knobs off, but it looks like they, uh, looks like they just glued them on. These might just be glued on right now. You might just be able to knock them off. I don't want to mess with it right now. Secret that some people do when they de-knob rails, they just glue the knobs back on so they don't go and re-knob it and then they can still skate it whenever they want. With these, sometimes you can just pop them up with a crowbar, but some people like drill them out. You got to be careful. You don't want to break the concrete. Otherwise, then you have to bondo over it and clean it up. So these definitely suck to take off. So Brandon Burley tried to nose blunt it. He got a gnarly slam. It was in the uh, painkiller intro. Yeah, he was trying to lip slide it and then just started going for nose blunt. I don't think he landed the lip slide. He had told me he hadn't even nose blooded anything bigger than like the Pood 6 rail and then decides he's gonna try it down a 21 rail. Like, what? Yeah. Jeff tried to lip slide the side rail? Yeah, Jeff uh, Rally tried to lip slide this side rail. It was like a Vans poster or ad or, or something, but he never landed it. That looks like the tail's broke. The tail is broken. When you're back here at the run-up, you look straight ahead. This thing looks even bigger than it is. It's taller than all the first stories of the houses. So you're just like, what, is this even real right now? And not only skaters hit this, but it's popular with rollerbladers. And BMXers. Caveman board. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> you just missed a few stairs. Just a couple. What do you say we uh, check out what else is skatable at this school? All right, yeah. I do know there's a crazy rail over here. Let's go see it. But we want to skate down the skinny path. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, look at the skinny path. Skate this real quick. Drop in on the W. Should have brought the dirt board. It's just like El Toro. Birthday shout outs. David Orgas, happy birthday. Nice. See who can do it first. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was, you, had time, you had time to get out of the way. <laughs> that sucked. Every time I want to take it easy and have a nice mellow day, I still end up falling somehow. Wow, what do we have here? We have a crazy kink rail with a really long out at the end. Two people have grinded it. Derek Elmendorf was the first one to 50 it. I think it was his last trick in the fun video. Years later, Niger came back 50-50 it, but the difference was he popped all the way to the street. I'm guessing he put a lot of wax on that to make that happen. That's crazy. Yeah, insane. I'm not really sure if anything else has been done on it. I only know of the 50s, so if you guys know anything, let us know in the comments. How many kinks is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine. Wow. <laughs> that you would go through. Bondoed. Someone must have been skating it not that long ago. There's a little out ledge here that's all skate stop too. I don't know who would want to skate that though. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the other side of the school though. All right, it's a 10 stair. 10 stair over here. Nice. I wonder if uh, anyone that skated the 21 would use this to warm up. That or there's something over there you can warm up on. This is a skinny bank Dustin has found. Whoa. 
That was nice. So 21 stair, 10 stair. What do we got over here? 15 over here? Yeah, a few people skated it. Something I remember the most is Paul Hart did a back over crook. I actually skated this like five years ago. Really? Yeah, I, uh, I lip slid it, back 50 it, and crooked it. And I tried to nollie crook it, but it didn't work out. That's a tall nollie crook. This thing is as tall as the 21 rail. This is definitely your warm up if you're gonna skate the 21. This landing is gnarly. You got this pole here. Yeah, that pole and curb used to not be there. Oh! You know what somebody should do? Grind and then pole jam that if they bent it down. <laughs> oh man, I gotta see Clive Dixon doing that. <laughs> Gabber's nose grind of the 21. Don't you have a board of his right now? I do. Nice. Let's see if there's anything over there. Oh, there's some big stuff over here. I think this is fairly new. I don't remember this. This looks brand new. This building's super nice looking. The concrete looks fresh. Even the brick looks super fresh. Come on over. What is this spot? Yeah. Oh, I had it. I wonder if anyone's ever skated this. Oh, wow. It's getting real. Here we go. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. It's like there's a big old manual pad over here. Yeah, I've seen this in videos before. Yeah, this is a nice size manual pad. Yeah, I've seen people skate this. I always wondered where it was. Dawn's out here finding the biggest things to go off of. <laughs> you think anyone's ever skated this spot? <laughs> I don't think so. He wanted to jump down the 21 today, but it was skate stop, so now he's using his energy elsewhere. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's these ledges right here. They look pretty fun. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ha! <laughs> A last question. Do you have anything in the works? Maybe a new part or anything in the future? Um, yeah, so I am going to be dropping a footprint part um, for footprint shoes, insoles. Pretty much just have footage that I've been filming since the beginning of the year and um, hopefully should drop in December. And yeah, that's kind of what I've been what I've been doing and then hopefully just gonna keep skating. I'm definitely not gonna jump down wall, Walnut anymore, so <laughs> <laughs> All right. saving that for somebody else. All right, that's our video on the Walnut High School 21 stair. Let us know if we missed any tricks and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Head on over to DurhamBros.com. We've extended our Black Friday sale till December 1st, so you can get 15% off all orders of $15 or more.